My name is Peaches Hagley. The title is The Impact of Migraine Headaches Among University Students in Literature Review. The outline, objectives, research question, history, symptoms treatment prevention, public health significance, methodology, analysis, conclusion, and references. Objective, the aim of this research is to study the influence of associated risk factors among university students with diagnosed migraine headaches. Research question, how does migraine headache impact university students? History of migraine headache. Migraine is an ancient illness recorded by the Egyptians in 1200 BC. The ancient Egyptians recorded painful headaches that was thought to be an evil spirit or witchcraft. They had concluded that the only way to relieve it was by drilling a hole in one's skull. This was called trepanation. However, Arterius discovered in the second century and described unilateral headaches of migraines linked with the occurrence of vomiting. Migraine can be defined as a throbbing headache which affects one side of the head. Migraine is derived from the Latin word hemicrania, and hemi means half and crania means skull. There are two classifications of migraine headaches, migraine with aura and migraine without aura. Symptoms, treatment, and prevention. Symptoms. 15 days or more per month when a patient suffers with a headache. With migraines on at least eight of those days, the common signs and symptoms are nausea, vomiting, eye pain, sensitivity to light or sound, severe pains to one side of the head, described as throbbing. Treatment, there are no screening tests. However, there is a series of questions asked by a physician to analyze the symptoms. As for the treatment, drugs are administered, such as antiemetics, specific anti-migraine medications, and prophylactic medications. Importance of treatment. There are two types of treatment, preventative medicine and acute treatment. Prevention of migraine include a change in lifestyle and prevention of migraine can also be by medication. Public health significance. Migraine trust states that the global prevalence of migraine is 14.7%. That is one in, in seven individuals affected with migraine headaches. It affects the ages between 18 and 44. It can be hormonally driven or genetically driven. Migraine is a common disease that is more predominant than asthma, diabetes, and epilepsy combined. The prevalence of migraine headache among university students has been determined as 21.8% for women and 10.9% for men. This affects the economic growth of a country with the cost equivalent in the United States to be over 35 billion a year and 160 million workers lost. Methodology of the study. Electronic database used were Google, Google Scholar, and PubMed. They were used to find quantitative and qualitative methods. The research is based on a review of articles where a summary of the main findings related to the topic is given. The timeline of the study was from May and ended August. The articles were considered between six to 12 years of publication. The key such phrases used were the prevalence of migraine headaches, university students with migraine headaches, ID migraine tests, history of migraine headaches, epidemiology of migraine headaches, and the ratio of male to female with migraine headaches. Inclusion criteria. The articles must be between six to 12 years of publication per review, and the data was selected on diagnosed chronic migraine headaches. The type of study used is quantitative and qualitative. Exclusion criteria. The articles must not be more than 12 years of age. If it is more than 12 years of age, and you cannot get an updated copy within the limit, then it may be used. The amount of information contained about tension headaches must be differentiated from migraine headaches. After applying the inclusion and exclusion criteria, only 11 out of the 25 articles were used and seven out of the 15 governmental and non-governmental websites were included. Studies containing participants who do not attend university would not be considered because this literature review is grounded on how migraine headache affects university students. Analysis of data. Qualitative method is used to link common themes and quantitative method is to provide the prevalence, the similarities, 
and the causes of migraine within the article. Analysis of data. The subheading contains findings, severity, importance, and prevention of migraine headaches to evaluate the data collected, along with sub-subheadings, which includes differences, advances, gaps, limitations, and strengths in the study of migraine headaches. Analysis, you have high risk groups, exposure to environmental factors, triggers migraine headache. Migraine can affect Caucasians, Native American, and more than any other ethnic groups. Individuals with medical conditions such as insomnia, anxiety, and epilepsy are risk factors to migraine. Other conditions include hormonal changes, diet, and environmental changes. Also, women are three times at risk than men when it comes to a migraine headache. Also, low-income groups fall in this category. This is a pie chart showing that Caucasian is highly affected with migraine headaches compared to African American and other ethnicities. Another ethnicity that fall under other ethnicity will be Chinese. This is a graph showing the prevalence of male to female ratio, with the female having a higher prevalence than male in the three universities shown. Findings, the severity of migraine headaches worldwide. 2% of the population is affected by migraine headaches, and out of that 2% of the population, 90% is impeded to normal daily tasks at work or school. And only 5% of the 90% within the 2% population seek a physician specialized in migraine. The Migraine Disability Assessment Questionnaire has different degrees that test for migraine headaches and the level of disability. It also aims to improve migraine care. In contrast, ID Migraine Test is a self-administered primary care test which has disadvantages such as people may not answer all the questions and people may be impediment. Also, there are advantages to using self-administered tools, which can be, it will be inexpensive and it will be easy to formulate an analysis for the data collection. Advances within the article. There are no current advances. The causal pathway is still unknown. However, an effort is placed in research, but no major breakthrough is seen. Innovative ways on how sophisticated the treatment being administered are ongoing. Gaps within the research. The knowledge of identification of pathways in the development of migraines between gender, whether it is genetically passed on by biomarkers or environmentally induced strength. Evidence of risk factors were linked with the initiation of migraine headaches, along with the impact of migraine headaches hindering university students from daily tasks. Limitations, studies collected data at different times of the year, which may be biased. For example, during examination time, they would have a high level of stress. Selected participants were conducted in a private school and this limited the data collected on lower socioeconomic status. Migraine with aura and without aura were not distinguished, and there were no studies found pertaining to Grenada with the prevalence of migraine headaches in university students. In conclusion, there is a high prevalence of migraine headaches in university students. Correlations were made between migraines and the period of time of study. Risk factors were identified that linked to the development of migraine headaches, such as lighting, sleep deprivation, mental stress. Recommendation, accessible knowledge filling the gap of understanding the data to be presented to include more diverse population of students. Extension of the period of study, meaning to carry out the study throughout the school year. Accommodation of specialists in the area of migraine to distinguish the difference between migraines with aura and without aura. Finally, inclusion on herbal medicine and alternative remedies such as oriental medicine which is also known as Chinese medicine, should be investigated to prove healing effects on migraine. These are my references. Thank you.